Hello everybody. I've been planning on making this video for quite some time. Just never got the chance. Some people may know, may not know that I'm a collector of antiques and various other items. Uh, got an all AM clock radio there, but anyhow, this video here is on uh, advertising clocks and other items. That clock there is it's been ha hanging there on my uh, pegboard in my workshop for a good number of years uh, except for when I got to change the battery so it's not that old. Um, yeah, I figured I'd show you some of the other items I have. Most of these came from my grandfather's garage after he passed away uh, this one here was uh, one of the good items. The aluminum ring on it needs cleaned up a little bit, but it works. K-Site batteries. Quick starting in cold weather, better and smoother performance year-round, or double your money back. I don't know if I can... That's an oldie. Don't see those too many places. I got permission to get this sign from an old building that was being torn down. By quality, by Delco, by General Motors. And there's the uh, colored side to it. It's pretty cool. The only bad part on it, and it's had it for years is this crease. The crease it's you know kinda of torn a little bit but I'm sure that could be fixed. I try not to uh I try not to move it around too much. This item that I have here <laughs> I don't have a lot of room to hang this stuff so it, it gets put in a safe place but this was also hanging in his garage and it still had when I took it out brake lines hanging on it Napa Automotive Parts Association N oh sorry National but uh... this is quite old there's actually a, a second one down there but it, it, it all had lines on it. They were rubber lines. They were, they were rotted pretty good, but still got the number tags on it. This is in pretty good shape. Just needs cleaned up a bit. Probably the biggest, or I guess you could say, uh, pride and joy of the collection is uh, this Kendall motor oil clock. That's I have no idea how old it is. Uh, that hung in my grandfather's garage for years until it stopped working. Um, he gave it to me. Um, I was able to get, I had to get a uh, new clock motor for it on the inside. But it's it's missing, I, I still got, I have the bulb. I just don't have it in here. There's a, there's a neon tube that goes around this outer part here that lights up. Uh, I just got to get that made, get the standoffs for it that go in there, you know, the short little plastic standoffs. And unfortunately, a transformer, but those, you know, a small transformer for a tube like that, I think it's uh, 12 inches, you know, a 12 inch circle. So somebody threw out the transformer. I won't say who, but. It's quite a heavy little thing, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. It does run. It's quiet. Uh, that little aluminum ring in there is uh, is a second hand. It does need, I do have to open this back up, retighten these copper wires, and adjust the pitch on this here because when it rotates and it hits a certain spot up in here 
you can hear it rub slightly. Uh, it rubs just on the edge of the glass where you can't see it up in that ring there. I'm sure you can hear that there. On to the next one. Another clock that I have that's a vintage era, I believe 1962. Uh, when I rewired it, the uh, lighting ballast that I took out of it had a stamp on it of, I believe it was 62 or 63. But I replaced the ballast with an electronic one. It was cheaper. Um, it's got a 32 watt circle bulb in it. And as you can see, it is it is running. It's already set for, uh, what is it, uh, daylight savings time or whenever we turn our clocks back. But uh, what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and turn on the light. There we go. It's a pretty nice clock. I really didn't have to do much to it. When I get these, I usually uh, I look at the mechanism. If it's dirty, I'll tear it apart, clean them, clean all the gears, put them back together, and lubricate them, lubricate the parts that should be lubricated. But uh, this has been hanging there for a good number of years, probably eight years or so. And next one I have here, uh, that'll be the last one for this video. No, actually I got one more. Uh, it's a 7-up clock. I believe it's from the late 70s or early 80s. Maybe somebody will be able to tell me from the logo there. This one itself also does light up. Looks pretty cool at night. It's survived through college. Uh, and it also keeps good times. It's pretty quiet. last one which isn't as much of, which isn't much at all as far as vintage uh, like the other ones but I got a Zenith advertising clock it's battery operated unfortunately but uh, it was free it works thank all of you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed this video later